Hello, my name is Melanie Jacobson. In the following slide deck, I'm going to be going over the details of the Energy Reach Code Ordinance for application on projects in Palo Alto. As you go through, please let us know if you do have any questions so that we can help you through the process. Thanks. This video will provide an overview of the non-residential submittals associated with the Energy Reach Code. During the entitlement and planning phase of a project, which includes projects subject to planning review only, it is highly recommended that projects include the preliminary energy modeling results in their planning application. In addition, for new construction, the commissioning requirements will also need to be included. There is a GB3 sheet template to be used in this portion of the application and may be associated with the Title 24 commissioning compliance worksheets. During the permitting and plan check phase, the final energy modeling report will need to be included. Similarly, projects that are pursuing prescriptive requirements will need to include the energy compliance report. For new construction, the project will need to complete the GB3 and GB4 commissioning sheets to be included in the permit plans for new construction projects. During inspections, should the project enter into redesign, the project will need to resubmit energy compliance reports for this purpose. After 12 months of being occupied, the project will need to submit an Energy Star benchmark to the city for final closeout. And that requirement is outlined in the portfolio manager section of the utilities website. This sheet covers the energy reach code and commissioning requirements for non-residential new construction and renovation projects. The column to the left outlines the project condition or project trigger associated with that provision. The requirement is listed in the center column. On the right hand side, the compliance schedule and instructions are listed below. Within the compliance schedule and instructions, the planning phase, permit phase, and inspection phase requirements are shown on the sheet. It should be noted that this form is to be used as a tool and does not need to be submitted as part of the permit application. This slide shows the resources available to the applicant teams. There are state and local resources listed. The Energy Reach Code Ordinance for Non-Residential Projects Enforcement and Plan Check Inspection Process are as follows. During plan check, for projects submitting for the performance approach, the Energy Compliance Report must show the required percent savings margin based on TDV, Time Dependent Valuation, triggers as shown on the Energy Reach Code Verification Form. For prescriptive approach projects, similarly, the Energy Compliance Report must list the required measures as applicable to the scope of work. For inspections, if redesign occurs on the project, then the project team must resubmit the Energy Report. Energy Reach Code compliance is subject to typical Energy Code submittals during construction. Thank you for listening to the Non-Residential Energy Reach Code Submittals Tutorial.